you're posing super well. Hi friends, this is Lulu Sketches. I am an artist at Disney Animation on Tangled the Series. And this is Mabel, she'll be joining us today. Today I'm doing the very requested pin tutorial video. As I said in my art journey video, I learned how to use the pin tool my first day at Disney Animation. So it's not a requirement to know how to use it, but it is super useful and now I use it for everything, especially environment painting. And guys, it's super easy once you learn to use it correctly. So without further ado, here is a pin tool tutorial. Today I'm using Photoshop CC. The pen tool is pretty much the same on the other versions of Photoshop I use, which are CS5 and CS6. So let's start with the basics. The shortcut for the pen tool is the P key, or you can just hit the pen tool button on your toolbar. Once you have your pen tool selected, when you click anywhere on your canvas, you'll create a little point. You can keep clicking around your canvas to make more points. Once you hit your first point again, the shape will be closed. What you've created here is called a path, and you can access this path in your paths toolbar. You can click off your path with the command key or the control key if you're not on a Mac. And if you want to click back onto your path to edit it, just hold down command again and click anywhere on your path. To edit your path, just hold down the command key and then you can drag any of your points around or you can drag any part of your path around. Okay, so here's what you'll actually be using the pen tool for, making shapes with curves. If you click and drag with the pen tool, you can create a curve. Once you do this, you'll see an anchor point appear. To edit your path with the anchor point, again, just hold down command and then you can pull that anchor point around. So here's the part that changed everything for me. I had played with paths before, but I kept making curves and then I didn't know how to get control back over my path. I was just trying to make a curve in my path and then make the next part of my path in a different direction. And the pendulum was like, not today, buddy. The way to do this is with the option key or the alt key if you're not on a Mac. Hold down the option key and click on your point. And then you can make the next part of your path in any direction you want. This is great if you just made a curve and then you want to make a straight line straight after or if you just made a curve and then you want your next curve to be in a completely different direction. Once you have the shape you want and you have closed your shape, click this little symbol on the path toolbar. It's a dotted line circle and your path will turn into a selection. From there, you can use the bucket tool to fill in your shape. You can also use the button beside this button on the path toolbar to do the opposite. So if you made a selection with the lasso tool or the marquee tool, you can then hit this button to make it into a path. I also like using the pin tool to make shapes with nicely drawn edges. I use the pin tool to make a shape and then I close the path. Then I select which brush I wanna use for the edges of the shape and I click this button on the toolbar. This one is just a lined circle. And well, bam, you've got nicely drawn edges. Use the button beside it on the toolbar. This one is a filled circle to fill the shape. This will give you the shape you wanted with edges that look hand-drawn. Once you know how to do all this, the pen tool gets a lot easier. The next thing you need to do is just practice. Now I'll draw a little environment here so I can show you exactly how I would use the pen tool while painting.
was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Bye!